here saying that it's going to be a fight where it's going to showcase you. Uh, you could potentially get a knockout. Even Lipnitz is kind of seen those tweets and, and tweeted out like, hey, I'm not just going to give this belt over to Mikey. But do you see it kind of going your way like that because uh, of his uh, defense and the way he's come out a little bit damaged in the other fights? Yes. Um, I've seen Lipnitz on, on, on two occasions. And um, I don't I don't see it the way most fans or, 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 or most critics, media, you know, are, are writing. I think uh, Lipinitz is actually a very, very dangerous fight for me. Um, when I consider the size advantages, the, the, the strength advantage that he has, those are, are, are you know, concerns that I, I can't ignore. And um, he, when he lets his hands go, I mean, he's dangerous. I got to be careful. Now, do I still believe I have more skills to beat him and overcome those? Yes, I do. I think my boxing skills are, are greater than, than, than he has, and that's why I feel I'm a win. But, I mean, inside of the ring, anything can happen. I mean, you, you've got surprises all the time. You know, you, you get these young guys or, or young fighters fighting, you know, top contenders or, or world champions, and they give you the surprise, you know, so... You just you just can't can you know go by what someone is riding because most of the, most likely they've never stepped foot inside the ring. Two more questions, guys. You know, you were asked earlier about you know Aram whether or not he would let Lomachenko anywhere near you. Uh, any concern that this is more than just um, you know strategy on their part about keeping their guy in, you know uh, not knocked out or whatever that that there might be some personal stuff kind of left over from from the litigation. Um, I don't I don't know. If there's so much personal stuff right now. I mean, like he mentioned himself, you know, it's, it's in a, you're in a business. He said something like, you don't stay in this business holding grudges or something like that. So I think they have an agenda for Lomachenko. They have a game plan on how to guide his career. And they're taking on different fights. Um, and I don't think uh, Mikey Garcia is <laughs> anywhere near those, uh, those, those uh, plans. But... You know, for the right money, for the right business, I'm sure he's willing to work. Last question, guys. What do you tell your fans right now? Do the tickets go on sale Monday? Well, tickets, tickets uh, are, are going to go on sale, and they're they're very reasonably priced. I think it's it's a great show, great fight. So make sure they uh, they can come out and support. If, uh, if they can't uh, come out, make sure they watch it on Showtime because um, I'm prepared. Thank you, guys. You know, the size advantage is just too too great. Um, Lomachenko had the, the size advantage and really did what he had to do. And he himself doesn't give himself that much credit for that reason. I was a little disappointed in ringing down because I thought he was going to be able to perform better. But, you know, it was, it was just too much for him. Thanks, guys. That's yeah, a wrap, guys.